Hi guys and welcome to another session with Andy Guy. Today I'm going to do something uh, tried and tested, very practical and something a lot of people ask. Um, there are a lot of opinions about it and I think I should give mine too, being Andy Guy. Uh, so it's really something simple, boxers or briefs. <laughs> So uh, today I'm going to try on some boxers, some briefs and bikini briefs and just give you my viewpoint on the different types, what could be good for different type of people, what would I like to wear um, and just, you know, my point of view on them. Nowadays there's so much variety for men. Uh, I just took off um, a jock strap from Addicted. If you want to see me in those and in thongs and in bottomless uh, undies, then you have to head over to undieguy.online uh, for that. Uh, but but yeah, most of the guys around the world probably wear boxers or briefs or maybe an in-between version of that, which is the boxer brief. Uh, also something that I'm going to be trying on. Um, now, you know, in spite of the variety, people usually stick to those, and so, you know, I think that um, it's important to know what is good for you, what's not good for you, and how to assess it yourself. I can't tell you, right? Um, I read online that, you know, boxers, they're good for people who are healthy, um, actually, I saw a video and uh, so this guy was saying, yeah, if you're healthier, basically, meaning if you're larger, boxers cover a lot of your flesh, right, and your legs and everything, so it hides that. Um, but I'm of the opinion, you know, that, you know, no matter your size, um, healthy, not healthy, uh, thin, skinny, if you feel like you can wear a thong or a jock strap, you should just do it. Um, but there are some basic things about boxers and, uh, you know, I would, I would wear a pair of boxers just to be comfy at home. Uh, I have worn them underneath pants as well. Um, now what boxers do is they basically, they give you a lot of room, so it's very roomy, it doesn't, you know, it feels like you're wearing pants, but shorter pants, right, underneath your pants. And what it does is it basically only forms a barrier between uh, your genitals and, um, and your pants or your jeans or whatever it is, uh, so it prevents them from getting stained, um, and yeah, I guess. That's about it. That's all it really does. Um, you know, they're there for those lazy, loungy days, just lazing around. I think these are perfect for the home. Um, so they're also good uh, if you're gonna have, uh, if you're gonna be getting a woman pregnant, uh, because they say that tighter underwear um, it creates more heat which is bad for sperm production. So if you are planning to get pregnant, then this is the way to go. Um, apart from that, they're really you know, they're comfy. They're the comfiest type of undies that you could probably wear. Although, although I think that if you're wearing them under a pair of pants, I would disagree, but sometimes they bunch up and they stick out of the jeans and it is it's just very messy under there because then you know you're wearing the pants and it bunches up. Um, let me show you what that looks like. Alright, so as you can see, I'm wearing my uh, very nice fitted jeans. Um, I can feel the material of the boxers underneath these. I can feel them and you can actually see them popping out right over the top, at the back, the material is just popping out and you know, it's happened a couple of times and it just looks, it looks weird, it doesn't look neat. Um, so you obviously, and these are a little big for me, I have uh, boxers that are a little bit um, more fitted, uh, but at the end of the day, this, this, 
this still happens, right? Because you pull up your pants and the shield comes up. So, and then I don't know, I don't know what you do. Do you like, do you have to like pull, pull the boxer down or, you know, it's just fiddly and messy. And I have to, I have to say that it's very comfy because, you know, you, you feel free, your genitals, your, your, your penis and your balls feel free to move about. Um, and yeah, it doesn't feel restrictive, but I just don't like the way it looks when it pops out like that. It feels a little weird as well. Um, so, you know, unless you can get a pair of boxers that is fitted to a nice point, still loose, a little shorter than these, of course, um, then I think, yes, then, then you could probably wear them nicely under a pair of fitted jeans like this. Um, so um, also another thing about uh, boxers is that they are not the greatest for shorter guys. So I am um, a shorter guy um, and what they do is, especially if they're long like these, um, they sort of make your legs look shorter than they already are and that makes you look shorter. Um, so, so yeah, um, you know, so when I wear a pair of shorts, uh, I would probably wear them shorter. I wouldn't wear them all the way to my knees or beyond that because that would just make me look stupid. Uh, so that's, that's another thing that, they, you know, if you're a taller guy, perfect for you. They're actually really perfect and sexy for taller guys. Um, so as a shorter guy, I would probably want these to sort of be a lot like shorter, like till there or something like that. So, um, but for those of us who don't like these under our pants, there is a good option. Right. So the in-between option between boxers and briefs are the boxer briefs, um, which uh, I think can look really sexy. I think they look very masculine as well. You get different types of uh, boxer briefs. You get them with, you know, the, the little bit longer uh, legs. Um, this for me, I think, is the perfect cut. Could be shorter than this as well. Uh, but what boxer briefs do is they give you that psychological satisfaction of boxers where you don't feel too exposed like a lot of guys don't want to wear the briefs because they feel like maybe it looks you know too feminine or maybe they don't want to show off that much sort of of their body uh, they want it covered up a little bit more maybe they feel like it feels a little more comfortable because sometimes what happens with briefs is they sort of cut in to your leg or they're too tight whereas this is um, a a nice compromise and I have some boxer briefs which are really sexy I really love them the mesh ones especially if you want to see me in the mesh ones uh, then you have to go to Andyaida online but these these are from the previous boxers were Jack and Jones uh, this is from Agasio it's a brand called Agasio it's from menswas Dot com and they always send me nice undies to try on and as you can see it's a lot of coverage all around there um, these look really nice I love that whole pouch area it looks really cool um, and the contrast with the white and this beautiful navy color uh, so yeah so these if you don't want to wear the briefs these I think are perfect um, you know even for uh, shorter guys simply because it's not it's not baggy right so what, what I do with the boxer briefs is I make sure that they don't come till here you get sport boxers um, that have I think they have six inch legs and they have a nine inch leg where they cover more um, and, and yeah, so I tend to get the ones that are slightly shorter, so that's a good piece of advice uh, for you guys if you want to try boxer briefs. I know a lot of guys prefer these, um, but, but yeah, I think, um, you know, they do their job well uh, for what they're supposed to do. But then of course there's some guys who love their briefs, and the briefs are, of course, classic started off with the Y fronts and then of course you know you have all sorts of versions of the brief. I'm going to do brief and I'm going to do bikini brief after that but let me put on a pair of briefs and show you.
All right, so these briefs are from addicted.es. Um, so I've reviewed these on my site, andyguy.online. They're the light briefs, pack of three. They come in three different colors. This is the most sober one. The other one's a neon yellow, and the other one's orange and green. But the other ones are also a little more see-through. So if you want to see that review, head over to andyguy.online. You can register free. Um, and, and yeah, and so these are very classic briefs um, they've got a um, good amount of balance between uh, you know the, the boxers and the boxer briefs where they're not covering too much they're giving that butt um, the the curve that it needs the accentuation that it needs as well as giving your bulge um, a lot of prominence as well, uh, which can happen with boxer briefs, but with the briefs, of course, you're gonna get more, you're gonna get less coverage, and these are perfect for athletic guys, um, you know, medium height, short guys, even tall guys, I think, would be fine in these. Um, they are comfortable, you know, you wanna play sports, they have a lot of maneuverability, um, you know, and then obviously there's a lot more air around uh, you get different types of briefs as well with little air vent openings which I've reviewed as well these are sort of in a way classic I like the the design of this it's taken an old design and it's modernized it and that's what addicted does of course I love their jock straps done a lot of jock strap reviews for them um, but yeah these these are classic uh, but that being said, there are some guys who may not like this. This, of course, is really comfy. There's a lot of room in the pouch. Uh, if you buy the wrong types of briefs, if you buy cheap, uh, you know, brand three pack, six pack, these, you know, the addicted three packs. You know, I'm not somebody who buys three packs for anything. Actually, maybe my the vest, uh, the tank tops that I wear in the night uh, to bed, um, which is a two pack. But I wouldn't buy. You know, underwear very rarely by a three pack, but these were amazing quality, feel good, look sexy as well. Uh, a lot sexier than the boxer briefs. I have boxer briefs that are sexy, but you know, these tend to be sexier. Uh, but some guys may find it restrictive, um, it, it could sort of squish you if the material is not right. Um, it could be uncomfortable for guys, which is why a lot of times you see guys fiddling around with their junk and then, you know, you have, you know, women are like, oh my god, you know, they're being so vulgar and it's nothing to do with being vulgar, it's just they've got bad underwear on, right? It's bad underwear and they're having to adjust themselves in that underwear. Uh, I wish more women would get that. Um, of course, it looks stupid. It did look stupid. I mean, you know, when they do it, it looks stupid. Um, I think you should be proud of your bulge though, and yeah, a little bit of adjusting can look very sexy. Um, but yeah, that aside, uh, if it's too tight and the material is too thick, you're going to feel not so good and <laughs> you're not going to have that much sperm production. But then tight briefs are not a contraceptive. So don't, that doesn't guarantee you can have unprotected sex when you should basically not have unprotected sex, especially nowadays with all the things happening in the world. Um, but yeah, uh, I love me a good pair of briefs, so my favorites, I've got lots of blue ones. Um, but if you want to go a step further than this, and if you think you have that, you know, you want to uh, go sexier, then we have bikini briefs, which are even tinier, and I'm going to try that on. So for the man who wants to show off more and who's confident and who wants to feel sexy, even if he's wearing these on the inside of his pants, it just makes you feel just the nature of the cut and the fit. It makes you feel sexier, it sort of gets you going, it is uh, a turn on just 
to where, of course, uh, these are doing good job of that because they're really, really good quality, um, sexy, they've got a texture on them, they're from uh, a brand called Modus Vivendi, I've gotten these from Vokla.com where they send me loads of different brands and you can even use a discount code. Um, UGY15 for 15% off at Vokla.com so head over there check it out check out menswas.com check out addicted.es and uh, you know if you want to watch all the video reviews of these head over to anigai.online and uh, and yeah watch them so these I think um, for me they just feel really nice they feel comfy they feel a lot more open I just feel a lot more open um, you know, I like that. I like that freedom that I feel in these. So a lot of people are like, they feel the freedom in this, which may be true, uh, you know, for uh, <laughs> for your for your genitals, for your but but yeah, for the rest of you, it just it covers so much. And to me, this does not. It can get really hot in these actually, especially if you're wearing a pair of pants over these. But with this. You know, it's just it's just super. Uh, these are something that I would definitely go to if I'm going on a date. Um, if I'm gonna be showing it off somewhere, uh, go to an underwear party maybe, which I haven't done in a very long time. Uh, but yeah, it feels good uh, because of the material. It doesn't feel restrictive. But if you get something that is this skimpy, then it could easily feel very restrictive and it could cut into you. So you have to buy quality, right? At the end of the day, I think whatever you buy, you need to buy quality and you need to buy stuff that fits you. This is, I think, perfect for somebody uh, off my build as well. I think it goes really well. But that being said, I have seen guys who are larger, uh, like my friend Adam uh, on Instagram. Check out Instagram, check out his page. I'll put his page um, handle there as well for you. And he wears all sorts of stuff, tongs and jock straps and everything, and he still pulls them off. So my message, you know, they always say, you know, the body type thing, and yeah, some of it, some of it fits, like if you're taller or shorter, which one goes better, what goes better with your body type in that sense but if you can carry it off and I think that you should and you should try and that's the whole point of Andy Guy is to give you stuff to try no matter what your body type because I have guys who tell me oh, tell me what I should wear and I, sometimes they say okay why don't you try these try it and then you will realize what suits you for me I have all of the different types of undies, right? And I, that's the beauty. I can try on different things for different moods, different days, different occasions. And so for me, the boxers versus brief thing is actually a little boring, which is why I included the bikini brief uh, in it as well. And I gave you, you know, obviously very sexy looking uh, brands, uh, you know, and this is, this is colorful, it's playful, it's nice. Ideally, I would get this in, you know, shorter and a little, little bit more fitted. Um, but yeah, so I want you guys to tell me what you think, what are your favorite types of undies, what do you think that you like me in, if you've seen my undieguide.online videos, or xylo.space slash undieguide, uh, where I have videos as well, then what, what do you prefer me in, you know? So, <laughs> so that would be interesting. Uh, and and yeah, there are lots more tongs, jock straps. Maybe I'll do something for my site where I do okay tongs or jock straps. That would be interesting. Uh, so take care of yourselves. Be proud. Comment. Head over to my sites um, and register free. Sign up. It is not expensive, and you will have a good time. My site has over 400 videos now, 440. So, um, you know, I hope all of you are doing well. I hope your mental health is good. Mine has been a little up and down, um, and I know everybody's going through something or the other. So I just, I get some help, take a break. I know I need one too. Wear sexy undies. <laughs> Wear sexy undies. Um, make yourself feel better. You deserve that. You have only now to live. Um, so, you know, just try to be good. Be proud of who you are. 
um, make the right choices. And, and yeah, I'll see you again soon. And if you want to watch me do another versus video, uh, I've done one for jockstraps versus thongs on my site andyguy.online. Ooh, these are a little wet. I wonder why. Um, so I just finished shooting that. Very sexy. Uh, this skin square thong and uh, these coat 22 jock strap. I also tried on an addicted one with the pouch enhancer. So if you want to watch those videos, then head over to Andy Guide Online, register free, and then sign up to Elite Club to watch over 400 very sexy erotic videos. Uh, so go do that now.